Hey, everybody. Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya, and joining me today is Bill Fathers, Chairman and CEO for Ecologix. Hey, Bill, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you, Jamie. Pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to have you join us today. So many exciting things happening, incredibly busy time for you and your company. But before we go and get into all that, for those who may not know, tell us a bit about, of course, Cologix. Of course. Cologix is a North American data center company. We have, at the moment, about 40 data centers spread across 11 markets, and we're very strong and have great presence in both Canada and in the United States. The way we differentiate is that we, we focus on network providers. So uh, customers tend to come to our data centers to get access to over 650 networks. And we also are host to many of the very large public cloud players, public on-ramps, which are the places that customers come to connect to those, uh, to those cloud players. So very network dense. And we, of course, have ecosystems of customers who are you know, present in our data centers because of the presence of other customers. And on average, customers in our data centers are interconnected, is the, is the jargon we use with at least 15 other customers. So um, hopefully get, that gives you some idea of, of who Cologix are. Yes, absolutely. And um, I love this particular uh, new announcement that I was reading. Cologix recently announced its new innovative hyperscale edge data center solution called Scale Logix. Can you tell us more about Scale Logix? Yeah, absolutely. Traditionally, in the last 10 or 15 years, applications that get put into co-location service provider data centers either needed speed, i.e. they were trying to get access to networks you know, a, a, as quickly as possible. Think about public clouds, Apple TV, Netflix. They're all about low latency and get me to those networks. They want speed. The other kind of applications wanted scale, massive data centers to accommodate the sort of very fast growing things like compute farms and storage farms that are, are often triggered by uh, large amounts of processing in the public cloud. Right. In the last few years, there's been a group of applications that have come along that need both speed and scale. And that's that's unique. So there are applications, certainly, you know, as public cloud adoption has grown, um, people are putting part of their databases in the cloud, part of it on premises. Artificial intelligence obviously is a good application for that, where people interrogate uh, AI databases in the public cloud, um, and you know a number of those, and obviously public street streaming and the very large uh, user base public gaming platforms as well require both very large scale and speed. So we uh, launched our product a couple of years ago, really, uh, where we were starting to build very large data centers very close to the centers of gravity and our networking interconnection hubs. The digital edge is the jargon that gets used. Um, and that has really just grown and grown. And what we've now found is having built three or four of these very large scale facilities that demand has just ballooned. So we've we've given it a very specific product name of scale logics. Um, and that's, you know, we're now adding our sixth, seventh and eighth scale logics facilities uh, at the moment. So, but that's what they're there for. It's for applications that not only need a large amount of scale, uh, 10 to 100 megawatts of, of power capacity, but they also care about where they are from a latency and a speed perspective. Yeah, and, and hey, talking about scaling and growing, most recently, um, Stone Peak announced a recapitalization. Uh, could you provide us a bit more background on, on this and share what future opportunities this might bring to Cologix? Of course. Um, about... A year ago, we identified that as we diversify, not only we continue to grow our core business of carrier hotels and digital edge uh, facilities, but we're going to need to start building very large scale data centers. So we needed access to a lot more capital quickly um, and coming at a low cost of capital so we can be cost effective. So we looked at our, our balance sheet um, and we looked at both equity and debt and we said, well, we're going to have to transform ourselves uh, from having been sort of you know, steady growing, highly profitable company uh, that makes modest capital investments every year to one that can now invest billions of dollars a year to keep taking advantage of the market opportunity without sacrificing returns. 
So that's what we did. We went and refinanced both our equity and our debt. Um, there's a bit of jargon gets involved, but you know, basically our the infrastructure fund that owns Cologics and has owned us uh, for five years saw incredible long-term potential uh, and so decided that what we would do is basically recapitalize. So Stone Peak still is the majority shareholder, um, but we've been able to attract new investment from, from new investors. We also refinanced our debt and moved to something called an asset-backed securitization, which in the data center world is, is quite common now, but we were one of the first to do it at the scale we did it at. So we basically transformed our entire balance sheet to mean that we can now make investments like the ones we're just making at the moment um, and can do so knowing that we can do it for five or six years. So long-winded answer, but we basically got access to stacks more money at low cost. How's that? No, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a better answer, I think. No, yeah. no, it's it's uh, it's great though to actually uh, say it and and to and to verify that. So uh, amazing. And talking market potential, you have forty plus data centers in eleven markets. Do you have significant plans for future expansion in the same markets or will you be entering any new markets? In the new markets, we we expand all the time. Our carrier hotels are always growing uh, to make sure that we can keep up with the demand of the networks and the applications that have to be right next to the center of gravity. In four markets at the moment, in Montreal, in Ashburn, in Toronto, uh, actually Columbus, five markets, Columbus and Silicon Valley, we're currently building or have already built scale logics facilities. Um, in some cases in Montreal, we're building our third uh, scale logics facility. In Ashburn, we're building our first two in parallel. Uh, in Columbus, we're building our second. And in Silicon Valley, we're, we're adding a second on, to, on, on the same land as the first one. So, you know, we are basically tripling the size of the company in 18 months, which is and, and a large chunk of that capacity is pre-leased. So there's not much spec build in there. It's nearly all pre-leased, which, you know, we're obviously starting from a smaller spot from other people, but it just gives you some sense of the, the, the scale of demand that we're seeing in the market. Wow. Well, just an amazing growth story. So where can our viewers go to find out more? Cologics.com. Uh, and of course, uh, our social media presence uh, across all of the usual social media platforms. Absolutely. Collogics.com, guys. Thank you, Bill, for joining us. It's always an honor to have your thought leadership uh, on our platforms. And, uh, um, and thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts.